Hello, and welcome back to Perseverance Part 2. On the last episode, we found Dave, gave him back his pocket knife, and made our way back to the, well, surface level of the uh, military base, where we have been held at gunpoint. So, it's not really much to say besides that. We're still in the middle of our escape, and we must well see how this turns out. It's the idiot from the bar. Out of the frying pan, into the fire. Ooh. Such a click, I forgot about that. I can plan everything. The dolphin uh, dolph on the bar? What are you doing here? Uh, I can explain everything. I don't have time to explain it. That's not really a smart choice to, to do. I'll try and explain what... Yeah, I, I tried to, try to explain the, the whole game is about... Maybe you'll he'll understand, maybe not. Lots of question marks. That's worth the risk. Do you know what's going on here? What the psycho is doing? Dr. Murphy? Research. But hey, tell me what you're doing. I have to report this. He's experimenting on people. He's creating a disease that he wants to release. Uh, well, nonsense, I guess. Uh, I suppose hit spacebar. He raises a barrel higher so that he's aiming right straight at me. A strange, slow growl interrupts our lovely, conversa lovely conversation. It's that dog again. The same, the same one. But I killed that creature. I can even see the wound, and yet it still stands, panting, with his open, cursed jaw. What? Uh, yeah, please. It falls with his head nearly split open, paws still twitching. Fortunately, the rumble of the gunfire blends with a distant explosion. Military base, a training ground. Uh, what was that? The Murphy experiment. I already killed him once. But I don't think he's going to stand up now. So, shall we bury the hatchet? Because if we don't, same thing can happen to humans. Thomas nods. I have to report this uh, to the mountain, to the major, but, and about Murphy. Over the radio, he ordered that the lab door must be guarded and that no one was allowed to get uh, past it. He's about to go into town. I'll lock you in his trunk. It's the fastest way uh, to get out of here. What about you? Report at the top. Good luck, we'll take care of it. Thomas opens the trunk. He looks around, but no one is in sight. I'm about to get in. Phone rings. An irritating, annoying ringtone. I reach into my pocket. An unknown number. I feel my hands sweating. Instinctively, I press the green bu uh, phone. Yes, hello? You again. You saw him. Uh, you saw what it was waiting for you. Nothing else. No one else. I'm trembling. Dave. What was done to him was absolutely inhumane. Uh. Uh. Dave didn't deserve it. Dave, how dare you wipe your mouth with his name? He was a much, much better human being than you are. I hate you so much. But he didn't deserve this. Yes, yes, Karen. He didn't deserve it. Of course he didn't deserve it. You're the one who failed. You're the one who didn't save him. And you could have. If you'd hurry up, be better, maybe he'd have, he'd have a chance. Not end up the way he did. She's right. As usual. The stupid old woman I want so badly to get out of my head. I press the right button. The connection cuts off. I stand panting uh, heavily. Are you alright? He seems concerned. A lot. Well, my behaviour was certainly out of the norm. I stand, waving my arms. Yes, you can go now. Thank you for the help. That is something I have to face on my own. Door slamming, engine roaring. We're finally on the way out. It's dark and uncomfortable, but I'm alive. Fortunately, Murphy prefers to get things done in the city more 
uh, than to get me. It is some consolation. Are you leaving, Doctor? Where to? To Greville. I'll be back in an hour or two. Watch the lab, soldier. Yes, sir. It's so good that he's on my side. Though we've had a rough start, nothing brings two people together like a common enemy. The car goes over bumps softly, but at least the uh, at least I've reins. At least I've regained my senses. My head isn't spinning as much either. Murphy, he's talking to someone. Yes, I have your people. Did you really think that uh, those lousy two would stop me? You're like children in a fog. Anyway, thank you for the uh, funds. Put them to good use. And as for your people, I'll send them back in boxes soon. How is it? He's way overconfident. But lo and behold, the car is already stopping. I'll wait a while and then I'll be free. Yeah, the parking lot. I was betting I'd end up either here or outside the hospital. Anyway, very well done. I'm about to get uh, my car back and call the agency, but first the keys. I see silhouettes in the sheriff's office. It's worth eavesdropping on them. Maybe Murphy will say something that will help me. Hey, where'd you come from? You weren't supposed to be here. He picked the perfect time to show up, damn jerk. Uh... I'm gonna save here because I know I didn't save for the past two choices, but it looks like we're getting close to the end. Oh no, we've reached the end of our line. Oh well, go back all the way to the start, I guess. To the very first, still right in the slot. There we go. Did it? Did it work? I don't think it did. There we go. Uh, why wasn't I supposed to be here? I came for my car. Um, yeah, say why not? Oh, came for a car. Don't attack him. I supposed to pick up the car, so here I am. I'll pay whatever you want. Just give me the keys, and I'm out of here. Wait, wait. You're supposed to be in the mil uh, military custody, you damn spy. Uh, are you supposed to know that? You must be mistaken. I was in the motel, curing a hangover. Look, we can make a deal. He shakes his head negatively and reaches for his radio. I have no choice. It will hurt, but he wanted this himself. Clenching my hands into a fist, I lean forward. I throw myself at the deputy sheriff, knocking him up to the ground. He is startled and tries to defend himself, but extremely clumsily. The revolver flies from his holster, landing well beyond the reach of, his, uh, of our hands. He reaches for the, my throat, but I break the grip with no problem. I rush for the guns, uh, pull back the cock, uh, he freezes looking for the barrel of, what, into the barrel of the gun, and he raises his hands into the air. The situation has got a little complicated. He is helpless, terrified, and completely at my mercy. The keys? Give me the keys. He hastily reaches into his pocket, pulls out a familiar bundle, dusts them uh, into a heated asphalt. Don't hurt, why shouldn't we? The only reason we're not going to shoot you is because it's going to alert the other two that were outside. Uh, stun him. We don't want to kill him. Because it'll alert the other two that were here. We can't release him because you can, can still alert them that we're here. I can't shoot him. Not here at least. That would be way too loud and draw too much attention. My gun with the silencer is in the trunk of the car. One problem at a time. Uh, it's more brutal than I expected, to be fair. Uh, I can handle it discreetly. I punch him in uh, the temple, just like I was taught. He faints, and I have a moment to tie him up. The uh, rope is in the glove box. Murphy, he's too so predictable. He's a goddamn, uh, yeah, he's a goddamn gr uh, criminal genius. I push Brock into the trunk. He's heavier than he looked. Until next time. That guy called Ty uh, called Type, and he won't scream when he wakes up. I just hope Mercy is 
will be so delighted with the joke out as I am. Brock is in memory already. Now, the car. Maybe before. I look at the office. A warm light uh, emanates from inside. I can almost feel it pulling me, like a moth. I sneak under the window before I can make sure that no one uh, is left in the car parking lot. Except for the contents of Murphy's trunk. I hear raised voices. I think they're arguing. I cautiously, cautiously look inside. The sheriff looks furious. This is the last time I'm telling you, Murphy. I will not wait indefinitely for you, for you to fulfill your deal. Do you understand? Look, everything takes time. Wait a little longer, Hal. Time. Time. You've been deceiving me for months. I'm still supposed to help you. Take that strange girl to the hospital. Track down the next one who shows up at Greyville. Take her car. I did everything. Damn it. Can't you see that? Yes, that was necessary, Hal. You did a great job. I have no idea. And I don't want to know what you did to her, Murphy. But I need you to help me. Because if you don't, everything I know will end up in the press. You don't want to blackmail someone with power. National press. Be reasonable. I'll get it done. But you don't want to confront me, my friend. You have one week. I want an endorsement. A week. Okay, I'll collect favours. Someone will get back to you soon. A quarrel? How interesting. Good to know that Murphy might be in some trouble. Just, are you sure? I can change in one week. I did everything for you. Just keep that in mind, and I, rem and I remember everything. Well, 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 our sheriff is playing blackmail. The conversation seems to be ending soon. I have to act quickly. Oh, I have to act, and quickly. It's time to take the car. Feels good to collapse into a familiar chair. I reach into the glove compartment and take out my... Uh, what? And my hand freezes in mid-motion. Why, Karen? Why? They're not here anymore. They ran out recently. You have to get new ones, uh, and there's no time for that. Anyway, at this hour, local pharmacy. Well, perhaps in the hospital. Two birds, one stone. Now I have to make a plan. Priorities, Karen. Priorities. Jane or the agency? What takes? Uh, who, what to take care of first? I think calling the agency would would be best first to keep them up to date. So I'm gonna go with the yeah, call the agency first. Phone call the agency. Yes, I should report there. I just need a place to stop. This roadside looks good. No one is chasing me, which is a plus. I reach for my phone and dial the familiar number. The signal goes on and on. Finally, a familiar voice picks up. Stamp. What's this silence supposed to mean? You blew the deadline. You're supposed to call at the appointed at times. Murphy hosted me, but I got out. I have some important news. Uh, I know that uh, we can't accuse them. And I don't think they'll give us help, so... I know Murphy's plan. You guys are in more trouble than you thought. Agent Stamps, you're forgetting yourself. No, you're the ones who forgot yourselves. That psychopath tried to kill me. He drugged me and almost hugged me. He's a sick man, but he knows what he's doing. What did you find out? Uh, it's Primal, uh, Primal Predator Project. Murphy's created a project he called Primal Predator. It targets, uh, targets all of humanity. It's a fr uh, freaking lunatic's plan, but it seems viable. What do you plan to do? Uh, I'm gonna go get Jane, I guess. I'll find Jane. 
She's the key to this disease. Explain. Uh, explain what the disease is. Uh, what the psychopath did. I saw how it works uh, on the dog and Agent Roma. The dog that Murphy w was breeding attacked me. I killed the creature with a knife and I checked. No pulse. Then it got up, came to life. Still aggressive. But uh, it took a whole magazine uh, to, of lead to stop it. The thing is, he, he's created uh, makes the aggression in, intensify. I don't know what uh, to call this revival. What about Agent Roma? He was in terrible condition and he was injected with that drug. He, he committed suicide. He couldn't bear uh, what, he, what was done to him. Alright, act according to protocol. Then the silence, uh, then there is silence on the receiver. I'm going to get Jane as soon as possible. That damn thing Murphy released, it'll spread through Grayville like snow in February. Instantly. So Jane, time to go. It's getting late. And the agency isn't going to wait for around forever. What's the plan? Well, that's a very good question, Stamp. What is- what's the plan? I can't even smoke, and I need so- I uh, need to so badly. I know that Ellen, that sweet nurse, will be starting her shift soon. She was lovely, delicate, and so wonderful- er, uh, flavorful. Well, I guess I'll have to use her now. If I dress to, uh, up as her, it might work. But similar in height and body shape. I don't think I see any uh, special obst obstacles here. Pretending to be a nurse, good thought. So the plan created itself. Patient's condition improving. How are you feeling? What's your name? How can we help you? Medication? Works well. Water skills? Normal. Damn it, she bit me. She's furious. Someone get her something to calm her down. Jesus, it hurts. She bit into the meat. Oh. So is this the actual breakout? I can already see the hospital wall approaching. A very glass building. Please cut under it. Hallard sent someone to watch the girl. Who? I don't know that yet. Well, it can't be Brock. And there's only one other person that we know. I'll park outside the road so I can get back to my car quickly. With Jane, then the agency. I get out of the car, look around, but Alan's car isn't here yet. She should be here soon, yeah. Yeah, we'll see each other uh, again. Tires squeal, and uh, a police car pulls out of the car uh, parking lot. Another. It's Jill. What are you looking for? Well, yeah, me, obviously. After all, no one is here. Uh, no one. Wait, no one here is as interesting as a stranger from the big city. She clenches her teeth and moves towards me. Damn, I have a little problem. The guy is a cute gag package uh, in the trunk of a psychopath's uh, car. But does she know that? She's not pointing a gun at me, so that's a good sign. Hey you! Stop, goddammit. But I'm not moving. Just reach for the gun. I have a silencer screwed onto the gun. One shot. And if Jill lies dead... Uh, Jill lies dead, but uh, if the sheriff sends someone else... Or if he gets here himself, by now, they probably know I ran away. They might think I ran away from the agency to help. Oh, run, wait. Run away to wait for the agency to help. They might think I'm looking for a way to get Murphy himself. You also have the soldiers uh, on their head too, soon. If Thomas made it out, I hope he was damn convincing. Well, I have to get rid of Jill. Uh... Let's let's be let's be pleasant. There's no reason to ha have this fight yet. Oh, sorry, in fact, I don't really have time for the chat. Rude and abrasive. That's how I got rid of her. Hey, what do you want? Where's my man? She doesn't know. Okay. At least that's a plus. I don't have to explain the contents of, of the trunk. All right, Karen. Where's her boyfriend? Uh. What makes you think I know? I stare at her into the eyes. Are we playing the, a bluff? Huh. I'm, a, I'm the master. And if so, she has to answer the important question for me. 
What makes you think I know anything about it? About it? Last time I checked, your damn boy was very uh, incompetently hitting on me. And then he stalked me at the motel. You know, I don't really w I want anything to do with him. Why should I care? Don't pretend. What do you know, super policewoman? What do you want to play with me? Pretend what? He followed you all the time, and then suddenly he's gone. And you don't know why. He isn't answering. If I'll reach him on the radio, it's like he's gone underground. You don't even know that, uh, how true that is, Jill. I'm afraid something's happened to him. How's got him onto something? Help me. I don't care what you do here. I just want my guy back. It's all, it's all I'm at. Oh, sorry, Jill, but you deserve so much better than Brock. She's really begging me for help. Paradoxical. On one hand, I really feel sorry for her. On the other hand, the memories of staying at Murphy's are still strong. Uh, tell, find out where the car is. I've got advice, uh, you know. She looks at uh, me untrust, uh, trustingly, like a puppy waiting for a reward. Now she's longer cold and fierce serv a servant. She's just a regular girl who's damn worried about her guy. What is it? Can you help? Why don't you check uh, where his car is? From what I can remember, he doesn't part with it. Joel nods ahead. I guess that advice uh, seems to be effective. Okay, I'll look for it. Haven't you seen it somewhere? Uh, what do you want me to say, girl? I haven't seen it, no. I shake my head and bring uh, up the most compassionate, most fake smile uh, to my face. Mortally, no. Joe Moore probably gets sad and motions to a car. Oh, uh, she's in for some searching. I'm all alone, well, except for Ellen. She should be here any minute. How should I approach her? What should I say to make her believe me? How should I behave? The story I have, it's not very believable. It sounds like a very, uh, a damn fairy tale. And I know how Ellen cares about uh, other people's lives. She's a good girl. Jill's not here anymore. I'm still waiting. I look at my watch, sweet Ellen. We had a funny evening. It's true I left early in the morning, but that shouldn't change anything. We agreed on a one-night stand, and that's what each other got. Each of us got, I guess. The roar of an engine, the familiar shape of Ellen's uh, car and uh, town... Shape of Ellen's town car. There she is. Watch as she parks. On two t uh, tries. She's nervous, her hand's shaking, and she's cl uh, close to the door. She's on her way to the hospital. Damn, she's so pretty. And I'm about to lose my chance. I have to do it. I have to break her heart, otherwise all is lost. I can turn my fist into a hands into a fist and stand up. Hey, on, hold on a second. She stops startled in mid-step. She turns uncertainly towards me. Unawareness is painted on her face. She smiles slightly and sincerely. Hey, are you still here? I thought you uh, took her and disappeared. Yeah, I thought so too. Things got pretty damn messed up. Are you coming with me? I'm just about to start my shift. I'm glad you're here, even though I thought you didn't want to see me anymore. Oh, yes, good point. Can I talk for a minute? It won't take too much time. She hesitates for a moment, but finally nods. She's so damn trusting. I have a gun hidden in my pocket. It's the last thing I want to use today, but no one can uh, say I'm not prepared. I'll try and be more gentle. After all, she is Alan. What's this about, Karen? Something happened, right? I don't know if she read it in my voice or my face. Yes, something happened. Uh, I need your help. I'll just ask her. Help. I know it's not easy, but maybe it'll work. After all, it's not like Ellen is incapable of helping. Look, I really need your help. Help? What do you mean? You don't want drugs, do you? No. I'm not going uh, to take anything from your pharmacy. It's complicated. Why don't we uh, talk about it in on the front desk? I can't go in the hospital like this. Not in this outfit. I'm sure the guards would be uh, the guard of serving Murphy. They won't let me in. You must have my description. No, um, this is going to sound very strange, but I can't go in there. I can't look like me. What do you mean? I want to prevent very bad things from happening. You have to believe me. 
without asking more questions. I want to dress as you. What do you mean? Like me. You know, we're pretty similar. With your wig and your clothes. I'm pretty, uh, if I'm quick enough, hardly anyone will know it's not you. You'll have your stuff back within half an hour. You're not serious, are you? It's, is this a joke? Listen, I have to go. Yeah, I wish it was a joke, uh, just a joke. I want nothing more. I have to act starting now. Uh, do we tell the truth? Uh, I, I mean, narratively speaking, we, we might trust Ellen enough to tell the truth. I'm gonna, alright, I'll give you more of the details, simply put, maybe uh, that will do something. Ellen, here's the deal, if I don't dress up as you, I'm not going inside, the guard won't let me in. He knows who I am because people from the base are chasing me. Some, well, some of them are. I want to stop what's about to happen here, and believe me, Alan, it's going to be a disaster. The worst the world has ever seen. It would involve more than just Gravel. One, uh, but the whole world? Well, my Karen, no offense, but you sound like a crazy person, seriously. You're a pretty weird person. I like you, but that doesn't change anything. You don't understand me, please. Uh. If we're already being accused of being uh, crazy, no point pulling a gun. But I think I'll just call it there. Hopefully, I can see you in the next one with that. Goodbye.